Food Court, the movie podcast where Sean and Michael watch it, talk shit, and most importantly, eat shit. We are the law. And guess what we saw? Dream Scenario, starring Nicolas Cage and directed by Christopher Borgner. Borgner. Is that what I read? Is that Borgley? what I Borgley? Borgley. Christopher Borgley. Christopher Borgley. A bit of a D. I would like to order a Borgley. Cheese Borgley. <laughs> Um, um, ugly baby. Oh, 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 uh, we watched Dream Scenario, <laughs> yes, starring Nicholas Cage, the lovely, delightful Nicholas Cage, one of our fan favorites, I believe. I, uh, I mean, <laughs> our, wait, you mean? Do you mean our fans like him? Yeah. Oh, if or we that have we any, like him. <laughs> if oh, we have any fans, we've got they fans. like Nicholas Cage. We've I'm got sure. fans. <laughs> Oh, we've got fans. <laughs> <laughs> we have at least a fan. We have fans. We have, fan. yeah. <laughs> we have fan. We don't think of them as fans. We think of them more as uh, family. We are a family. <laughs> we think of them as kill donkeys. Yeah, kill donkeys in the herd. What is a herd? A herd of kill donkeys? Yeah, there's a herd. A herd. Uh, tweet at us at Food Court Cast for any reason at yeah. all. Um <laughs> By the way, <gasps> this is the plot. I'm telling of, me the plot. Of dream of scenario. Dream scenario. There's a professor. His mm-hmm. name is Nicholas Cage. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what is, I've instantly forgotten all. Man, the I've been bad about that in movies. Michael in Thomas, lately. Billy, William, Peter, Peter. It is Peter. Because Peter. the lady's like Bruce. <laughs> He's like <laughs> Peter. <laughs> uh, Peter. <laughs> Is a professor of evolutionary biology, biology. or something like that, mm-hmm. and um, he just likes to teach class, and he's kind of a boring guy. Yeah, he's just like a goof, <laughs> and he's just a regular old goof. And you know what? Something weird is going on. Yeah, people begin to have dreams about him. Very odd. But they're not. He's not doing much in the dreams. No, he's just sim- simply standing around. Not up to much. He walks up. Uh, sometimes if um, there's some alligators, he just <laughs> leaves the room. Yeah. <laughs> Stuff like that. And he becomes a viral sensation. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. People are talking about it. He's, he's getting some, some talk. And he's trying to... Whoa. There's a whole <laughs> wow. traffic there's nightmare outside. There's people honking at each other. <laughs> um, and he finds out... Uh, that he can try to use this to his advantage because he's writing a book. Well, he's writing it in his head. Yeah, and he hasn't started he's writing. Planning it. to and maybe do. Yeah, he may someday. Yeah, I'm <laughs> I'm doing a plenty of stuff too. Yep. Uh, and uh, and just as he is at the height of his fame, mm. his fame turns dark because he begins to murder and attack. And maybe even sexually assault people yeah. in their dreams. In their dreams. And Not like in their dreams, but like no, in like their in, dr- their yeah, in their yeah. dreams. Yeah. And um, the world's reaction is to shun him. Yeah. For the things that he has done in their dreams. And um, he does. He reacts to this in the most poor way. Yeah. <laughs> um, he. He acts like a jerk, though you can understand why. Yeah, but yeah. he definitely acts like a jerk. Um, he tries to get into situations that he should not. Mm-hmm. People um, try to keep him away from schools, and he goes into schools, which is one of the main things you don't do. If someone says, "Hey, don't <laughs> yeah, come to school," don't do you don't it. go to school. You really shouldn't. <laughs> and um, obviously, we're going to spoil this movie. As big usual, time, big time. Um, it, but there's not that much to spoil in the end because in the end, um, he, he's just sad. Yeah, <laughs> he doesn't. <laughs> nothing goes his nothing, way. Nothing goes his way. Yeah, basically. Um, but most of that is in the trailer. Yeah, absolutely. It it is quite a. It feels like one of those movies that was a trailer first. Yeah, and they reverse engineered it. Like you know how um, there's there's, I don't know if it's actually true, but mm-hmm. they they used to say that Roger Corman would like make a poster really? and a tagline. Oh wow! And then be like, okay, you got you guys got uh, two weeks to shoot this movie. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I'll give That's you fifty grand. Idea. Go shoot this movie. I kind of love stuff like that. Like you start with like three words. And it's yeah. like, All right, make a story out of it's that. It's called Robo. 
Um, Clown. Yeah, 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 yeah. 3,000. No, 3,000. No, it's called RoboClan 3,000. <laughs> we'll see you in two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> Come on <Good> luck. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what they do. With, they were like, dream scenario. We got Nicolas Cage, mm-hmm. and people are having dreams. Scenes. There'll be alligators. <laughs> that's uh, good. Um, uh, the big suit from uh, Talking Heads. We'll <laughs> yeah, be that'd in be it. good. <laughs> yeah. That's good. We just put out... We just put out... Um, uh, stop making sense this yes. year, so that'll tie in. This will make be making sense actually because yeah. of the and then, timeliness. Um, they made the movie, and they made the movie about dreams, and it was quite funny. I loved. I was laughing a lot. The, I laughed the a whole crowd lot. seemed confused, conflicted. They but did. We just kept. We were going. They to were the wrong. Beat of it, our was, own it was. It was funny. It was much like how I felt. In, uh, no, not exactly, but some movies you start laughing and people aren't, and you're like, oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, that reminds me, tweet at me and at us. Yes. At, at Food Court Cast, um, the Denis Villeneuve movie, Ooh. Enemy. Oh, yes. Um, starring Jake Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal t- twice. Twice, two of them. <laughs> Is that a funny movie? <laughs> now, I laughed a lot yeah, in the there theater. Are good moments. And who I went the guy I went with was mm-hmm. like, that wasn't a funny movie. <laughs> After it was over, he was like, that, that was not a funny movie. But we we are more versed in finding humor. We are searchers. We seek out humor. Uh, <laughs> so uh, we can see it better than the average, the untrained uh, eye. Yeah. Some people watch Hereditary and they go, that wasn't funny at all. And I go, I laughed probably six yeah. times out really loud. Really funny. But Midsummer, that's fucking hilarious. I need to see it. It's really fucking funny. <laughs> There's one part, spoiler alert, where a guy gets uh, his head smashed Ooh. with a huge hammer. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> that sounds awesome. It truly is hilarious. Um, <laughs> and it's similarly, this movie is about like people being harmed, but it's funny. Yeah, they do a good job uh, balancing it, and the tonal shift is pretty good. You're yeah. Like, oh wow. But it's still pretty. It's like humorous because it's still like this average dude just mm-hmm. doing all this horrible stuff. Even his poor daughter is like having oh. dreams about it. It's it's really interesting. Yeah, and you know what the most interesting part is? Mm-mm. Actually, you should tell me. Oh, oh, what I thought the most interesting. Yeah, like the very part. best part oh, of the like movie. The best part. Like the like the beef lamb euro. Oh, of the movie. oh okay. <laughs> Okay, Okay, so my favorite (laughs) part of the picture, there's an insane interaction between him and this lady who works at an ad (laughs) company. And I like this because it really went to like the height of how bizarre dreams can be. Yeah. Uh, So this lady is acting very weird around him the whole time Mm -hmm. that he's at this little like meeting to like be turned into a product, basically like on Sprite ads and all this stuff. And she's like giving him like weird looks, looks. and like uh, you know looking the, him up and down. And it's like oh, in the elevator, yeah. it's really cool. <laughs> she, he's like, oh, I hope it didn't do anything weird. And she's like, oh, uh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is when you find out what he did, you're like, oh god. Yeah. But so she wants him to reenact what's happening, <laughs> and so he's like trying to like, because in the dream he's like in a corner, comes out of the shadows, yeah. And then she's like, what do you want? And he like has sex with her and yeah. she's like I'm so wet like just all this crazy <laughs> stuff just wild um, so he's like he's trying to do it I mean that may be a dream for some but not for, for me, me it's everyday life everyday life I make it a reality dude I just hang out in women's corners <laughs> women's corners I mean, and they're man. like oh no oh. I'm scared <laughs> but my sexual prowess is so powerful you just, that they can't help it. They're like, wow. This is great, actually. I'm sippity sop slop. First, slopping. I was like, mm, but now I'm like, mmm. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's, to be fair, I do not do that. No, no, no. We are In making case a, we're doing joke a joke. We're doing a, a joke. Bit. And it would be bad if I did that. Yeah. These are clearly bad. These are bits. And it's bad in this scene because. <laughs> He just isn't the same person. This is no. a completely fictional person. This is in a her dream brain. man. In a, in in <laughs> a, dream, a dream, someone can fuck you real good. Yeah, and in real life, mm-mm. they they might not fuck you real good at Instead, all. Instead, they may fart when you touch their penis and come immediately, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> which I thought was amazing because it's like, yeah, that's just so funny, especially like people becoming celebrities and how we make up. 
like crazy ideas of them. Sure. They're just like people and in, in yeah. like real life. <laughs> yeah. I love that. I just thought it was so nice and fun. Mm-hmm. And I know you're thinking, oh, farts, aren't they played out? But I, I just really don't think so. I really think they have a place. I think a well-placed fart is quite yeah. good. I think if we placed one right here. Yeah. <laughs> um, been a good, been an okay year for farts. Yeah, Holdovers. So. Holdovers, great. Dream scenario. Dream scenario. <sighs> That's it. <laughs> Tweet at us if there are any other good farts this year. Fart We'd night. love to hear about Freddy's. it. Fart nights at Freddy's. Fart nights at Farties. <laughs> Welcome to Farties. <laughs> that would be awesome. That'd Farties be... Pizza. Yeah. Would you go to a place called Farties Pizza? <laughs> um, no. God, no. But uh, so. if, if my brother had been abducted... Mm. And um, I needed a job as an overnight security guard. I guess I would have to. Yeah, I'd have to go to parties. <laughs> um, this is what happened. We were watching the movie, and yeah. I was like, this is pretty good. Mm-hmm. Um, and I thought of my favorite part. Oh, tell me about it. In general, I quite enjoyed the fact that it was um, spooky and funny. Yeah. I I enjoyed the fact that... The dreams were unsettling. Yeah, they, they were, were like cool and weird and unsettling. And also that the dream world kind of bled into the real world mm. sometimes. Mm-hmm. There's especially one scene that I really loved where um, there's like a guy in a big parka <laughs> and he slowly walks into this house and we don't know what's happening. Yes. And then he pulls a knife out of a drawer and we're thinking, oh, this is a pretty yeah. weird dream. Uh-oh. And then um, he turns on the lights and he is inside of Paul's room. <laughs> oh, God. And he's like, Paul, I've got to kill you. I've got to kill you. And it's scary. It is scary. Um, because, I don't know, I guess he's had enough dreams about Paul that he has to kill him. He's like, no more. I can't do it anymore. But it's quite spooky, too. And it's a good sign that um, things are going to go bad. Yeah, it's a good. Uh, what do you call that? For for like a f- foreshadowing. It it's weird because it's it's Forbidden. it's already happening. Yeah, it's just like uh oh. It's a can it foreshadow something that is already happening? That's a good question. Tweet at us if there's a way to foreshadow something that is already happening. Yeah, but that's just background. a symptom. That's just a symptom. Is that a symptom? Yeah, it's a symptom. I like that. Um, I also, in general, loved Mr. Nicolas Cage. Yeah, oh my, a great character. He did great he's, work. He's really funny in it. Very, like, he, the way he did his voice, he's like a very meek kind of character. Oh, yeah. It was really fun to just kind of be in the misery with him. Just like, oh, whoa, yeah. this guy's not doing too well. I like that he's also really bald. Yeah, they really Do you think there. in the... So... In in like even the eighties, mm-hmm. he was already balding. Yeah, and now you see pictures of him, and he sort of has hair. Mm-hmm. And in this, he had no hair. Do you think it's a complete bald wig? Like a yeah, I guess so. I don't know. I, it looked like I couldn't tell. It kind of looked. They could have either shaved his head. They might have shaved his head, or it was just because it was a weird like it was a weird length. Yeah. It was odd. I'd never seen it like that. I was like, whoa. If I were him, Mm -hmm. and this was happening to me, I would shave the beard (laughs) instantly. Instantly. (laughs) You just shave the beard and you don't look like the same guy. Yeah. (laughs) So then you can walk down the street and nobody's like, oh my God, you're a fucking dream rapist. (laughs) That was the original title, but they were like, maybe people (laughs) won't go see it. (laughs) I don't know if people like that. Nicolas Cage is is dream dream rapist. rapist. There, there probably is a movie called Dream Rapist from probably. the 80s. <laughs> there is a movie called Inseminoid that's about oh, a... dang. <laughs> I think it's oh, about an alien that, in, that it inseminates people. I don't know. That Tweet insane. at us if you've seen Inseminoid or Dream Rapist. And what and you tell us, of it. Tell us which one is better. Yeah, which one do you like better? <laughs> uh, if t- Tweet at us if you want us to cover Inseminoid on the show. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Tweet at us if you want us to cover any trash. Yeah, any trash. We'll pure trash out. on the show. We'll love it. 
we'll um, watch it. What else was amazing about this movie? Um, I loved all the dreams. I thought they were so well done. Yeah. Like you were saying, like even the beginning, I love how it starts. Ooh, like yeah. it's just like normal. He's raking leaves. Yeah. And then like a, something breaks the glass table. Spooky. It's like, oh, this is already ominous. Yeah. And then like he's just kind of doing nothing. And then even when his daughter gets like lifted up, it does nothing. <laughs> it's like, anything? it's very interesting. I love the whole way they played with that. Like he's such a, his ego so like fragile the whole yes. time and he gets like super defensive and he t- like wait so i was just doing nothing like he's like very mm-hmm. it's very interesting I-, I like the way they played with that a lot yeah it was fun as a person um who is al- almost always very jealous of other people <laughs> and um their successes mm. i really identified with him yeah because <laughs> he's he's just so pathetic mm. just a pathetic loser <laughs> Um, though he's got a pretty fine life, you know, yeah. he's got daughters, he's got a wife who loves him and all that stuff is for, quite nice. Yeah. But you know that deep down, even, even a person who seems generally mm-hmm. quite happy, you know, we're all haunted by a few things. Absolutely. And he's haunted by just like anyone he knows having even the slightest amount of success. Yeah. Ab- yeah. Like just, he, he meets with this woman who th- he thinks has taken his idea and who in the end... <laughs> Did kind of did yeah, <laughs> especially yeah. And she says she's publishing in Nature, and he's like, "Oh, that's great." Yeah, <laughs> and he's recording the conversation, which is amazing. And uh, it cuts back to him like listening to it, listening and he's just, going, oh. <laughs> It's really he's good. so pathetic during it. He <laughs> truly is pathetic. And he does something with his voice where he just sounds, yeah, he did a great job. I was he like, sounds so, so sad. They they compare him to Jordan Peterson a little bit, and I could I could yes. hear a little bit of that. like Yeah. Especially the part where he's like crying, apologizing, like, but I'm the biggest victim here. Like, that felt very like every interview where that guy's like crying. Yeah. And you're like, oh. Which, it's not fun to make fun of people, I guess, but it's like, it's just, it is irrelevant it may it, it's it is relevant it's, it is relevant yeah that's what i'm trying to say it i don't know and that that is mirrored in real life like people getting this like sudden burst of fame and they're on everyone's mind and yeah they, they get kind of you know they tear you apart yeah let me ask you this uh-huh. um what do you think this was saying about mm-hmm. what one was it saying anything about cancel culture I mean, it obviously sort of was. Yeah, a little bit. I don't think that was the main thing. I think it was just, like, being careful, like, not what you wish for, but, like, mm. like the whole, like, jealousy thing. And, like, sure. he, like, feels like his life, I guess, never went off in whatever yeah, ways. Sure. And he never got the book done. But he's also being so inactive in it. Oh, and yeah. And then he's just given, like, complete notoriety. But yeah. So it's like he does get his dream for a second. But yeah. then it's like once you're that big, it's out of your control What? happens with you yeah so it was like interesting he got yeah. the full experience there he he meets with a a social media company yes. i guess sort thoughts. of thoughts. Uh, thoughts called thoughts question mark <laughs> um which is one of my favorite shots in the movie he's waiting in a waiting room <laughs> yeah. and there's a infinite scroll that just yes. says thoughts thoughts question mark it's really nice um but he meets with them and they pitch him uh mm. as uh Sneaking into people's dreams with Sprite. <laughs> yeah. That's which is amazing. Um, kind of fun. Yeah. But this is, you know, we care about accuracy on this yeah, show. Yeah, folks. And have you watched any Sprite advertising? Have you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you know? Um, <laughs> do you know what the race of the people in those ads is? It's not, not Nicholas Nick Cage. Cage. It is not Nicholas Cage. It's not it's, Nicholas. It's lots it's... of <laughs> go on <laughs> something else. Go it on. That, you know. <laughs> it starts. Uh, it's a lot of people DJing. Drake. <laughs> yeah. I'll never forget that one where he's like a robot for some reason that runs on Sprite. Do you remember that? Drake is a robot yeah. that runs he's on like... Sprite. <laughs> He's like rapping, and like before he raps, his whole face like comes apart in all these compartments, and then sprites like <laughs> shooting out of it. It's so weird. It's like, what is going That's on? That's what sprite does. <laughs> it quenches the thirst. Yeah, it, even cranberry sprite. <laughs> even the <laughs> the lowest, yeah, the lowest of the low. <laughs> it, it is weird. Why is sprite? That is very true. It. Is, I wonder why. I have often wondered. Yeah. 
why Sprite is the black soda. You know what I got to say? Well, I'm a starry guy, but yeah. if I, I don't drink much soda, but if I yeah. do, I'll drink a starry. Yeah, you're a starry guy. And I'm not and they're, sorry about it. I mean, they're, starry is also making some attempts. <laughs> It's reaching out to the black community. Yeah. Like, it's got, like, f- just um, DJ scratching and mm-hmm. the thing. It was it's- in every shot of Black Panther 2. Yeah. It was like, what? What's going on? <laughs> it's, it's There's clearly, like, seven, um, like, 45-year-old white guys planning yeah. planning the ads for Star, and they're like, uh, what do black people like? Uh, um, they like Run DMC, right? Isn't that what they like? Uh, I just have a horrible thought. They're like, what, what do you like, Rodney? And it's the janitor. And he's like, well, I like a Sprite. <laughs> oh. Okay. They're like, all right. <laughs> let's, let's see. How hey, it Rodney, works. Um, follow-up question. We're advertising for yeah. Sprite. What else do you like? Uh, Drake. <laughs> Drake. You like Drake. I like Drake. I like robots. You I like, like robot. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Keep going. Oh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Keep going. I'm writing this down. Okay, this, so it, it's Drake. Okay, and Drake. he's a robot. And oh! his face opens up almost so graphically that it scares you. It scars you. <gasps> and Sprite comes out of his body like it's his, his blood. And he starts rapping after that because his face closes back up. <laughs> I forget. Sprite. I used to know it because I saw it so many times I could. That you remembered it? Oh, oh, I know it. He goes, first name greatest. No, no. What does he say? No, no. <laughs> He's like, first name greatest, last name ever. Is that's oh, the scene? That's pretty that's fun. That's the trailer. Yeah, at the commercial. I didn't say any of the words right. But. You know one? Which one stuck with me? Mm-mm. There was a Folgers commercial from like the <laughs> probably. Late nineties, uh-huh. and it was Rockapella <laughs> doing a Folgers commercial. They're like, "Every day I wake up to fix myself a cup," and I I know that entire song. I love it. If you ever want me to sing it, just let me know. Tweet at us at Food Court Cast if you want me to sing the Folgers Rockapella. Yes, the full commercial Folgers. There's an old YouTube video that was mm. a Folgers. It wasn't a Folgers ad. It was like a anti-domestic abuse ad. Obviously bad. But they took... <laughs> Wait. Anti-domestic abuse is bad or domestic abuse uh, is yeah, bad? Yeah. D- domestic- <laughs> to be clear. <laughs> domestic abuse is Sucks. bad. Hey, Sucks. by the way, guys, if you didn't know... <laughs> yeah. Domestic- we're, domestic- <laughs> we're taking on the real I topics. Feel- <laughs> I don't know what it was for, but it felt like that. Yeah. Where this dad, like, they're all at... Breakfast <clears throat> and like this, the server spills. She spills some Aww. coffee on, and he's like, "She spilled my coffee." <laughs> like he's like getting mad. Oh. She's like, "I'm sorry, sir." And he's like, "You fucking be." And he like gets up and like starts like oh. it's like so intense. But you, they have the Folgers song playing the whole time, so it's like making me laugh. <laughs> I, I, every time I showed it to people, they were like, "What's wrong with you?" It's kind of like laughing in the theater. Yeah, it's like the time I saw the video of. <laughs> <laughs> Gordon Ramsay. Okay, well, this is the last tangent, I swear. Okay. They raised all these turkeys for their family, <laughs> and they named them all. I don't know why they named them all, but he's like, all right, say bye to Audrey, like, and they, <laughs> they kill all the turkeys. What? But the way they do it, uh-huh. I shouldn't tell this. People are going to think I'm a monster. No, tell. It's not the fact that they're killing the turkeys, okay? No. The way they do it is they stick a metal pole in their mouth that's electrified so the turkeys die instantly and they're just like, <laughs> And that's what I laughed at because I was like, what the, f-? it was so jolting. I yeah. was like, what just happened? Yeah. And they do it five times. Jesus <laughs> like, oh Christ. My God. What kind anyway, of fucked up show are you watching? It was a Gordon Ramsay family <laughs> Christmas. Really? <laughs> yeah. Gordon Ramsay's Faces of Death. Yeah, and they like, yeah, they just zoom in on his face while he's watching. I was like, oh my God. He's like, <laughs> what the fuck is this? So long story short, you know, things that are dark can be funny. Yeah. It's just the, the situation, the context. You just got to grow a set. <laughs> yeah. Grow some balls, just baby. Just grow a fucking set of balls. I will say, if say you it. are ever in a Nicolas Cage situation like this, yeah. never record a video of yourself in hysterics because people will, you'll be oh, annihilated. Oh, yeah. Annihilated. You should consult with someone who's smart. Yes. Don't equivocate on your apology. Never. Just say, I'm very sorry for what happened. I'm sorry that um, I that people are having horrible dreams yeah, about I me. Don't know how to... And I apologize for yeah. that. Um, please, I hope you will accept my apology. And then they might go, oh, okay, well, thank you. Yeah. 
Because what the reason he does it because he doesn't want to apologize in the first place. No, but he has a nightmare about himself killing <laughs> yeah, himself, that's which is really pretty good. good scene. And it was good because they tried to make it seem like maybe he was really being attacked by someone. Yes, he got beat up earlier. Yeah, which that was pretty wild though. Where like they're like, <laughs> people would like you to leave the restaurant. Yeah, that one where it was where I was like, I mean. <laughs> You can't just force can't people just... to leave a restaurant. And then some dude spits in his thing. And then beats the fuck beats out the of him. Beats the crap out of him. Fuck yeah. him. Yeah. It's a very interesting movie. Yeah. I liked it overall, though. Yeah? That was well done. It was uh, very wacky. Very, it very was wacky. very wacky. Well, I love the scene where Michael Sarah is like, "Let's start this meeting over," and he just like turns his chair around <laughs> and looks out the window. <laughs> it's like snowing, and there's just some. There's a great shot of his little head out of focus. Yes, of, like, a big building in snow. I was it like, was this really, is really good. Really nice. Is I was also in the trailer frightened by that scene. Yeah, because in a movie, basically in any movie, <sighs> mm. when I see someone I know. Um, who's tough. like a humorous person? I'm like, oh, there's oh, no way they're gonna be funny. No, no, I, f- no funny people are funny. So I'm scared. But they were funny. No funny. They aren't. No one's funny anymore. I, I have. That's why having, we need. That's why we need Nick Cage. Yeah, I've been having a moment lately where I'm struggling to find humor anymore. Yeah. I don't know if life just got so bleak, like with everything mm, going on. Yeah. But like, you know, endless reels and YouTube yeah. videos. I'm like. And I'm just disgusted by it almost. Yeah. And then I look at myself making videos. I'm like, what are you yeah. doing? And then I watch a movie like this. I'm like, oh, yeah, we should just all be on farms yeah. or something alone. Not alone, yeah. but not known by a bunch of people. Yeah. So Except me. I mean, obviously, yeah, give it to tweet at Food Court Cats. <laughs> I, follow us. Share. It, it is like, a, subscribe. I, I think it is fascinating, like though. <laughs> like... Yeah, I don't know. Because, every you know, you think, oh, I want to be big and do yeah. all this stuff. Then you think about all the shit that comes with it. Like, people yeah. I know who are getting big right now. Yeah. And then you see, like, sometimes backlash happens where people yeah. are like, well, they're a racist because they did a joke like that. And you're like, whoa. Like, yeah. whoa, people really will just, like, kind of find something and be, like, sure. awful and make videos about it. It's just a yeah. weird world. I don't really like it. I mean, I do. <laughs> and I want all of our fans... The way we get famous is by people making videos of us. True, true. And like remixing it where I'm like, black, 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 black. Somebody doesn't know what Five Nights at Freddy's is about. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> yeah. Please make that video. Make that video. We shouldn't put out smear videos for ourselves. Oh, that's a great accounts. idea. Look at this idiot. I've been seeing a lot of that. Like people posting like, Look how cringe these people are, and they're posting other people's videos. I'm like, damn. Yeah. So we just got to get on there, and or <laughs> we could we could start one of those accounts that is um, simply mm-hmm. just giving people five dollars. <laughs> yeah, I love it. <laughs> people love that shit. They do. Check. Oh, my favorite is when something blows up, especially on Twitter. Yeah. And then after like that blows up, they're like, oh, by the way, here's my GoFundMe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Anyway, yeah. uh, we uh, this. This movie is very relevant to the time. Yeah. And I th- I thought it was well done. The ending, it could Say be, it. Deba- it feels a little abrupt. You're like... Say it. You're like... Oh, Say okay. it. Okay, I want maybe a little nugget on the end, but... Michael? Maybe just because I'm hungry right now. We're here. I'm going to tell you the okay. worst part of this movie. Oh, yeah, we're in the low main. This low is a main. low main, low man. Mm-hmm. Um, I felt it meandered. Yeah. And I also felt, I felt like it meandered because I didn't know where it was going. And then when I got there, I still didn't know where it was yeah. going. Yeah, I, I actually kind of liked the ending. Yeah. I thought it was kind of sweet and sad. It was sad. Um, And like the final dream is very nice and sad mm-hmm. and sweet. And um, yeah. the fact that he's also sort of hallucinating his own life. Yeah. It's very wild. interesting. Very he's like, interesting. he's having his daydreams about uh like him and his wife getting back together yeah but they truly are not <laughs> they are not <laughs> kind at of all. Sweet. and he even has a moment like which i did like this where he's like saying bye to his wife and he's, he's like well i'll be gone in four days and she's like he's like oh i could come by and then he imagines him like whispering oh her, yeah in her ear that he misses her and they're like crying and he's hugging her yeah and it was just all it's lovely pretend <laughs> he didn't i mean have any that's that. the way it happens it is true that is very true we all um, hallucinate 
<laughs> we all hallucinate. Hey, anybody out there in the crowd hallucinated recently? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have actually. That's funny you bring it up. <laughs> they like have a full conversation. Oh, okay, tell me more about your hallucination. <laughs> that would be a great idea for a show. Like plant someone in the audience. Yeah. You just you just have a full none of yeah. no more show. You just talk to them the whole that time. That sounds awesome. That's all I'm gonna do from now on. I mean, that's essentially what most internet videos True. are, right? Yeah, everyone's just talking to the crowd now. There's no way that all of those people are just people in the audience. <laughs> Certainly, the half of those are plants. That would be amazing. <laughs> You're so hot. <laughs> you know, like half of those are plants and it cuts and there's just like <laughs> potted plants like in the audience. It's like, I think you might be onto something. My audience is all all completely plants. plants. <laughs> Horrible audience. <laughs> hey, is this thing on? Yeah, hello. Um, but that's the worst part. Yeah. I I mm. from moment to moment I quite liked it. Yes. I, I was like, oh, this is funny. Oh, this is weird. Oh, this is funny. This is scared. Yeah. Oh, Tim Meadows is here. This is great. Yeah, I love Tim, Tim Meadows so much. Underutilized, I will say. But it did seem very it seemed like um it was like a bunch of shorts yeah, put together. Like absolutely. like a bunch of three minute shorts. And a lot of them were quite fun. Mm -hmm. Like there's one when he gets to Tim Meadows' house <laughs> where he can't find a way to turn off yeah. uh, the overhead light. <laughs> yes. It's one of those um, fluorescent yeah. lights that makes a ton awful, of noise. Awful. And he can't find any way to turn it off. And then he just tries to have a dr he tries to sleep. And I think that's where he has the, the, the arrow dream, he right? Uh, No. No. I think that's before because he gets kicked out of the house. Oh, yes, that's true. House. He do. Or no, 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 you're right. Because then he does the apology. Yes. No, but why is... He gets kicked out after the the time when he hurts the lady. At the, oh, that's true. Which that was wild. There's a part oh. where he, like, the lady at the school won't let him in the room, and he, like, yanks the door, and it, like, cuts her, Ugh. like, slams her hand on the door, she's, like, bleeding everywhere. Ugh. That was wild. That was, really like... Really fucked up. Because that made you feel like, oh, wait, is this dream time? Is this no. a dream? It's not a dream. It's not a dream. He's <laughs> just really fucked this lady up. Yeah. I like the mushroom dream. What was the mushroom? Oh the yes, scary blood With the man. Very tall blood man. <laughs> blood man. Anyway, sorry, we're going all over. Back the place. to the bad thing. Yes. Um, it did feel just like a bunch of stuff. Yeah, put together. I feel that. That's where the like trailer first. Yes. Five. It, it, yeah. I mean, it, I truly enjoyed the experience. Yeah, it was like fun. I kept having fun, mm -hmm. but occasionally I would go. Okay, so what is the story of this movie? And yeah, I st still don't really. I mean, the story is, or the purpose of the movie is, I don't know. Yeah, I, I mean, my closest thing is just like dreams and wanting things and like sure not knowing, just like being careful what you wish for. Almost. Yeah, absolutely. That's the best I can surmise. Yes, but hey. It is weird because it. I mean, I guess nothing's in our control in this crazy life, so Ooh. it makes sense that it just is happening, and he can't do anything about it either way, good or bad. We make our own reality, Michael. We make our own reality. <laughs> we make our own reality. <laughs> we just have to focus on the good. That is true. I'm focusing on the good. Aren't I'm we having a lovely good. time podcasting? Oh yeah, this is a delight. I want to thank everybody for listening to. Actually. I gotta, cool. Speaking of making your own reality, <laughs> okay. I need to. Um, I need to. Uh, I need to do that right now, and you just run out of the car. I need leave. to exercise a bad thing that happened. Oh. I need to remove it from my okay. from my world. I need to put it out into the world, okay, do it. and then it will, won't be in my head anymore. That'll live in the internet. It is December. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And the people who are who live within fifteen or forty minutes of a cookout know. Mm. Oh. <gasps> Wait, it's out now? It's peppermint chocolate chip season. <gasps> they have a peppermint chocolate chip shake, which oh is peppermint God. flavored. It's got chocolate chips in there that are really crunchy. And it also has like little hunks of like peppermint oh, buttermints. Yes, they're so good. And it tastes so good. Oh my God. And I, I hadn't ordered one yesterday or the day before. Mm hmm. Two whole days lost. <laughs> lost. And it's, it, when it's gone, it's gone, folks. It's. Brutal, so brutal. And tonight I was like, tonight's the night. I got just enough time. And I ordered it, and I, you know, I was driving here because I didn't have mm -hmm. much time. I was eating some fries, eating some. And then I took the top off of the shake, and there were no chocolate chips. What? 
No. It was a peppermint shake with no chocolate chips. <gasps> no. It was still deli- Don't get me wrong. It was still no. delicious. But the shards of chocolate. But the shards of chocolate are a game changer. No. I know. It's. I'm telling you, something's wrong with this reality. Something's gone <laughs> wrong, man. Fucking- <laughs> this is. This is- Sucks. <laughs> there I is. A... <laughs> this is the last straw. <laughs> Boom. Yeah. <laughs> um. I also Imagine. like when the when the daughter uh, says, "Oh, I'm gonna have to kill myself." Yeah, I'm definitely gonna. Have to kill <laughs> That's myself really good. Now. Yeah. That's good. Can I imagine, Michael? Uh, like someone listening to a podcast. <laughs> it's just like a child would be crazy, <laughs> yeah. and there's no other. It's like. Yeah. Uh, what would you do? I wonder. Anyway. Okay. Oh, yeah. They're listening to the podcast, they hear gunshot, and then they hear, like, you calling 911. <laughs> <laughs> he shot himself, he shot himself. Calm down, sir, calm, calm down, ma'am, calm down. I'm not a ma'am, I'm not a, oh, calm down, sir, sorry. Uh, no, I'm not that either. Some days I kind of feel more like a vet, you know, it's, it's for the moon. No. <laughs> I think it's, I think that, uh, gender is a spectrum. Yeah, no, and the person's you know. like, I can't, I don't think uh, I can, I don't think I can go over this with you right now. What is your emergency? Yeah. Oh, my friend. <laughs> oh, uh, my, yeah, that reminds me, my friend blasted yeah. his brains out. I'm covered in his blood. Yeah, they're everywhere. Mm-hmm. Um, stinks. It stinks. I didn't expect it to stink, but it stinks. What do I do? <laughs> That's basically the question. <laughs> what I'm trying to figure out here. I got to get to cookout because I heard <laughs> some <laughs> unsettling news. <laughs> then I, the moment I find out, I open it at the window. <laughs> and then you put the gun <laughs> to the bottom of the cup and blast it in your mouth. <laughs> There's no better way to die than a bullet and a, a peppermint Whoa. chocolate chip shake like blasting a new in your mouth. Type of brain freeze. <laughs> That'd be wild. <laughs> <laughs> if you've ever considered um, very weird ways to kill yourself, mm. first seek help. Um, the during the holiday season That's it can true. get dark, so uh, please uh, call if if you even Google like dying, it will tell you the phone number. Yeah, so just Google dying. Trust us, we or, know. Or even if you Google if you if you even Google stuff that doesn't really have anything to do with it, if you're like suicide the band, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, like be like are, are you're you, so poor hey, too. He's, he's, don't you, listen to them. Uh, also get lots of targeted better help ads, which they are not a sponsor. I'm sorry. They are not. We won't sponsor we won't talk about them until they sponsor us. So. Yeah, if you want to sponsor us, <laughs> really would be the weirdest show it for you to sponsor. Be, but uh, quite odd. <laughs> we could help a lot of people. Yeah, people who if watch people movies listen to this are trying to escape. And what therapy does is it invites you to take part in your life and, yeah you know you don't have to escape all the time you don't have to sometimes you need to be miserable <laughs> <laughs> you have to realize that you control your reality yeah if you spend too much time focusing on the bad stuff like the fact that they didn't put any chocolate chips in my peppermint shake <sighs> really i would rough. freak out oh uh, yeah i would but, lose it but luckily i'm i'm controlling my own reality and i'm like it was still a delicious shake. Yeah. I had a, an amazing burger. You know what we'll do next time? Yeah. We'll put a chocolate bar in the fridge. Ooh. Borderline freezer. It, we're, we won't be gone long. We'll put it in the freezer. We come back if there's no shards in it. Yeah. We <laughs> shave it with a grater or a knife. A really, we go really thin dice. And then we dump it all in there and we put it in a food processor and go... Then we dump it yeah. in the thing, and then it will be as close as we could possibly get it. That's beautiful. And it would be worth it. I know you're thinking, is what are you doing with all that shit? But come on, y'all. The shards are a game changer. And it sounds like I'm complaining, and I am. But I'm also remaking my own reality to say, mm-hmm. it's fine. Yeah, I'm, it's fine. It was the delicious burger. I saw a movie. It was fun. I got to be with my friend Michael Hampton, who I- explained to me what the worst part of Dream Scenario uh, is. yeah. I did. Then. Back then. then. Back then. So let's <laughs> go back. Let's cut back to this. <laughs> so I thought the worst part, for the me, the worst part of the movie. <laughs> uh, I like pretending to be on a podcast. Yeah. yeah I mean, uh-huh. it's funny you ask me that. Uh, no. The, well, actually, 
<laughs> I think the worst part for me, so they, they introduce a plot line mm-hmm. where there's like this watch that you can like go into dreams oh. and they do like a very like uh, dystopian like influencers going into dreams. Yeah. And there's a scene with Nicolas Cage where like two influencers show up. Yeah. And they're like, we love those kicks and like, oh, try this medicine. And it just didn't really work for me. No. I just thought it was, it felt very like quick and like, yeah. I don't know, just say whatever. Like it didn't even feel written to me. No. And there's like a dead dog, which that was interesting, but yeah. it just. I like a dead dog. Yeah. I just didn't. I love a dead dog. And it didn't really make sense because they were like, if you don't like the influencers, they'll be dis- they'll disappear. But he's like fighting them, so yeah. they're not going. With- and I was like, I I don't know. It just felt it just didn't make it didn't work for me. It didn't really make sense. Yeah, I was like, and it uh, was another part that felt like okay, this was a sketch idea yeah. that they threw in here. Just threw it in. I need to check. Do you think the people who wrote or the guy who wrote this just like write sketches and maybe then he made a movie it's like a it's like a not as good daniels or something like yeah yeah lots of crazy ideas that's fun but just not stitched together yeah as well yeah uh but that's hey. hard to do so you can't be the daniels i'm sorry you just can't. very few people can be daniels yeah just them too probably. yeah just them too <laughs> them too just them too but i liked it overall there were yeah. some things that like the 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 scene with like Michael Sarah and them kind of dragged on a little long. Yeah, and I love her to death, Kate Berlant, but she just didn't quite work. I don't know, or like they didn't give her good lines or something. It just felt weird. I don't it's know. It's very tough when people are playing. Their job is to play someone annoying. Yeah, because yeah. sometimes you're just like, well, this is, yeah, you're you you're annoying. It. Yeah, you're just. <laughs> yeah, I mean, both of them. Yeah. Are quite annoying. Um and and then you go, well, I guess they succeeded <laughs> at the thing that they're trying yeah, to do. True. Very true. But at what Cost. sometimes it was fun. Yeah, yeah. I think there were moments. It was like forty five percent a fun scene mm-hmm. and um thirteen percent not. Not and, and it then, was just a little long. And then forty nine percent. Not. Yeah, no, not. 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 And it was another one where I was like, okay, so where is this? Yeah. Where is this going? There's a general, okay, last bad thing I'll say, there's just like a general vagueness to the whole movie. Like no one's really introduced, which is a little bit weird. Yeah. Like even when he goes to see the dean, he's sort of like, okay, I guess this is the dean because he's in the office. But there's no like relationships relationship set up yeah it's like kind of odd because like in the trailer he pops in he's like have you been dreaming about me yeah and that just kind of happens and you're like oh weird i was expecting like we would have known this character for a while or yeah something. so i don't know no one really felt that which maybe that i mean this is me reading too much into it yeah maybe that's his like view like he's not really that interested in anyone else yeah he's just interested he's in very himself. self-centered very self-centered person maybe and the whole thing about the zebra was fun, I thought. Yeah. Like, he became a zebra, but he was, like, the bad version where he's not with a group. Like, he's just alone. Yes. <laughs> like, being seen as, like, yeah. that's interesting. That's a good bit. Yeah. I was like, that's fun. Um, yeah. I think, yeah. I've already said it. Mm-hmm. But the worst part for me is just, I, I didn't feel like it had a point, necessarily. Mm. And now... Movies don't have to have a point, Mm-mm. but it felt like it was trying to have a point. Yeah. I guess is what I, I, I felt like. Oh, this is maybe about something. I yeah. bet it. It felt like a word cloud or whatever. Like yeah. there's a word in the middle. Yeah. All right. Here's all the ideas. What's related to that? And um, they just showed you the ideas. They didn't. Oh, they're oh doing my videos. god! There's a, <laughs> we got fans. We've got fans. No, no. no. Go Hi, away. Gary. Hey, we're doing. <laughs> no, go away. Sorry to go away. We're doing a podcast. <laughs> Sorry, our friends. We had a... Our friends bothered us. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> oh boy, they're still doing a former it. Former co-host they're still John doing Burr. It. Go away. And guest co-host. Go Gary away, Fletcher. Um, go away. Go. <laughs> this is. If you see us recording, y- yeah. I mean, even if you're a friend, like if. <laughs> If you're friends with Elvis, Elvis and he's recording Hound Dog, do you go in? You don't go, <laughs> hey, you're hey, recording Hound, Hound Dog? Dog. <laughs> um, it would be rude. And what we are doing is 
as artistically important yeah. as Elvis's hound dog. <laughs> That's all I'm trying to say, is that this is meaningful. This is a meaningful This is moment. one of the most important things ever recorded. Ever recorded. <laughs> it's not as stupid. Yeah, it's silly times. I forgive everyone. Yeah, we were just... I'm, we, we I'm were making my own guard. reality. Yeah, I'm we're making... making our, this is the shards all over again. Yes. It's like... Mm. Is do you think the shards are opening up, and like the, the everything else is representing oh, the shards? I think like so. the shards are the middle of the mm. word cloud, like chocolate, just one bit. Yeah, one bit, one bit missing, and then other there's other bits that are missing. Do you ever feel like things are being removed from your life to mess with you? <laughs> Sometimes, <laughs> like okay, I know I did this, and is they this like they deleted it or something. Yeah, they, they went. No, what if we? What if we didn't? Sometimes I'm like, they are literally, and I'm catching on to you. Sometimes I, I see things. <laughs> I see it, man. <laughs> I want to sound as crazy. Like, I see things blip out of existence right in front of my eyes. Yeah. I did see something blip out of <gasps> existence today. Whoa! As I was driving here mm-hmm. to the to the. Uh, Opry theater. Mills <laughs> Theater, where we saw the movie. Yep. Um, I pulled t- to the end of my street. Oh. And um, there's a high school, and the the like little sign that is mm-hmm. outside, the lit up sign that says like, "Hey, have a happy yeah holiday." You know those kind of mm-hmm. generic um, high school sign. Sure. It was like blipping on and off. Whoa. Which I had, had never seen, and then the the lights. Of the high school itself that mm-hmm. were lighting up the high school were blipping on and Whoa. off, but not at the same time. Interesting. Like they were, like the <laughs> sign was blipping on and off, and the lights, but in a different order, but seemingly at random. And I definitely was like, "Wait, am I? Yeah, is this it? The, am I? Yeah, over? Is this it? <laughs> I've had Have I finally like lost it? I'm like." Wait a minute. I, I, I think I lost it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I've definitely been like, I totally put this in my pocket, and then it's on the counter. I'm yeah. like, okay, y'all are really starting to slip up with this shit. <laughs> Somebody just leaned against the <laughs> the wrong button at the wrong time. Y'all need to reboot this motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> it's like when a, a, you suddenly just get like angry or like sad. You're like, yeah. what the fuck did that come from? Yeah. Like someone, oops, sorry. No, oh, I made him mad. My bad. Um, yeah, I think the things are getting very interesting. Yeah, I think I brought it up last time where I you? thought the universe is starting to like contract. So oh, time's okay. going really fast. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because it really feels like time's time is weird right now. Time's getting really it's fast. It's real weird. If you feel weird about time, write in and tell us that you, yeah, are feeling Tweet at that. us tell at FoodCourtCast. Yeah. And we this doesn't have to be a movie podcast. No. This could be one of those podcasts where like <laughs> idiots yeah. talk about like whoa, you know, I've been thinking about, you know, it could be one of those. <laughs> if you give us money, yeah. This can be any podcast you want. Anything it to be. you want. We can be like, Whoa, man, you know, I've been taking acid. <laughs> And I've been noticing that, like, the government is bad. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> have you ever thought about that? Hey, um, have you ever thought that maybe doctors aren't even real, man? Whoa. <laughs> but chiropractors, they are they real. They are. <laughs> Medical doctors, they are they not, are not real. real. Chiropractors are real. real. Um, yeah, and also, if like you put like two rubber bands around your wrist, mm. you yeah, your brain power. You get a brain power blast. You get a the jolt. Yeah, uh, the jolt you feel from that is yeah. It's like it's like unreal. thirteen orgasms. <laughs> yeah, with another person, not lone, not lone yeah, orgasms. That would be a di- that's different. That's yeah. very different. Very different. Wow, but no semen. So it's even better. If you had 13 orgasms in a row, just for putting rubber be bands, it would be horrific. At that point, surely. It'd be horrific. Surely you're dry heaving. Yeah. <laughs> Your penis is like... <laughs> I love that old cartoon car sound. So good. 
It's really good. Um, <laughs> There's nothing better than a good old cartoon. But thing. we can't only talk no. about dream scenario. No, nor would we. Um, we ha- we all watched. So 10,000 other movies this week, which brings us to a segment we like to call Pan Express Presents Express Yourself About the Movies You Watched This Week. Play the song. Ding dong ding 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 It's time for the Pan Express boop boop because we got some things express ding ding about the things we watched doot doot this week. Ding dong. I had to redeem myself for last week's mess up. This week was beautiful. I want to apologize. We have not had a good panda in a while and uh yeah can i see that real quick uh the thing about it is <laughs> it's gonna be really insane in the recording yeah, especially if they're wild. listening in headphones Holy it's gonna be shit. like oh he's in both sides yeah he's in both sides <laughs> so get him out get him out get him out how come there aren't more podcasts that have um very odd <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were gonna stop there. I was like, I think how come there aren't more podcasts? No, how come there aren't more podcasts that um, fool with the sound to make you go insane? <laughs> I like that. Yeah, we should just start adding in things like, "Hello, hi, are you listening to me?" <laughs> like, add that in the background. That would be incredible. Hey, I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill everyone. Hello. You love. That's so funny. <laughs> just the whispering, the tiniest whisper. Polo. Mm. <laughs> 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 We can play 432 hertz miracle music. Do you want to do that? Yeah. Let's see. I downloaded a MIDI pack of piano sounds and I put all of them in at once and played them. It was amazing. That's what we should play. It was like. It was awesome. Sounds great. Anyway. Did you watch anything this week? I did. I watched a crazy film. Yeah. Called (laughs) Silent Night. Oh, did you watch it? theaters. I did watch it. I wanted it to be a surprise on the pod. What a film. Did you hate it? Woo. I thought it was wonderful. Did you like it? John Woo. I was kind of, I'm kind of surprised you liked it. I like that. I like a lot of it, but I get why, I get it. I get why you would think I wouldn't. I'm not a big sentimental thing, and it is over the top. It's insanely. And there was a row of Gen Zers that were just like like trashing the movie during it, because everyone, I think maybe we talked about this, everyone just wants to comment at all times now because of fucking social media. Yeah. But they were just like, what? (laughs) What's going on? This is so stupid. And literally the moment it ended, this guy stands up and he goes, that sucked. And I was like... (laughs) He was like, sorry, guys. Sorry to, hey, guys, let me insert me even more into your life. I was like, <laughs> all right, whatever. But it, I liked it. I had fun with it. I thought some of the choices were absolutely psycho, but I loved them. It's insane. <laughs> yeah, it's a, and I didn't expect it, spoiler alert, to be a silent film, basically. Yeah. Other, I mean, words-wise. Yeah. It's fucking nuts. It's nutty. But it was fun. That is also my, um, my, my <laughs> yeah, panda. Yeah, yeah, dude. I saw it, and... Um, I I might like to do a podcast about it with you Ooh, if you fun. can watch it again <laughs> because I found it to be quite mm-hmm. something. Yeah, it's wild. And I was saying to our our friend John Burr mm-hmm. who um yelled at us earlier. Yes. <laughs> um it it's like one of the few movies this year mm-hmm. where I was like, oh, that was short. Yeah, yeah, it goes by pretty fast. Like, there's so many movies this year that even ones that I liked that are just like, this was punishing. Yeah, I can't stand like, it. Like, great, I mean, movies I think are great, but Absolutely. I was just like, that's that was brutal. Yeah. I mean, on purpose. That was meant yeah, to be brutal. that was meant to be, and that, it The succeeded. point was that it was brutal, and then it was. But this was yeah. like, it was over, and I was like, what? That was it? Dang. Man, I loved it. Once it ramps up, it's like, all right, let's go. You're gonna leave? Are you, you gonna have the nerve to leave me wanting more? And they did. <laughs> Is that what you're gonna do? I loved it. Um, yeah, I did have a blast. I have some issues with it, but hey, if we do a pod. We'll bring let's it. Let's do. Up. Hey, if you want us to do a podcast about Silent Night, tweet at us Maybe or we'll do a special Christmas episode. Uh, furthermore, mm-hmm. if you want us to do a podcast about God, Godzilla minus one. Yes, I want to see Let that. Let us know. If you want us to do a podcast about Priscilla, no one has asked, I but you never what, know. I still don't know what it is. It's about Priscilla Presley. Elvis oh, Presley's uh, life. right. Sorry. Yeah, you told me that. I, if you want us to do a podcast yeah. um, about any other, there's a lot of weird movies see, I've never. Okay, here's my votes. Do you mind if I do my votes? Please. Godzilla minus one. Yeah. 
Boy in the Heron if we can stomach oh, two yeah. Japanese films in a row. Yeah. Though, I don't know if they'll be playing the dub and sub. I don't know how that's going to work. I don't know. Because with Robert Pattinson, Christian Bale, they'll probably be really pushing that yeah. dub. Which I don't mind seeing the dub. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, um, Not as good as a sub, but... Yeah, but what is? I mean, a <laughs> sub is yeah amazing. Bread, cheese. Oh, Meat. Oh, sorry, I'm just meat. starting to get hungry. Um, meat. Uh, uh, meat. Is there anything else I want to see? I don't know. I I know we should do Napoleon, but it's just so freaking long. It's yeah. really hard for me to want to see it, but I'll go. I'll hey, do it for you, for the Tweet pod. at us if you want us to do Napoleon. <laughs> just tweet at us. Just tweet at us, please. There's Let us know. There's something that comes out December 22nd that we saw in the trailers tonight that we were both like, oh, that's so soon. Oh, the Iron Claw. Maybe we'll see that. The um, new Von Eric wrestling movie. Yeah, could be good. Where Zac Efron, um, with all due respect, <laughs> looks weird. Yeah, but shredded, so. Yes, he looks. Just look at his incredibly body. Incredibly powerful, but his face is strange. He's got, he's, one. Very interesting. He is tanned so much. It's wild. I and now know, maybe part of that is makeup where they have, like, made yeah. him look fucking weird. But Sprayed him up. He's so like charbroiled tanned <laughs> like he is like a bk broiler he's like a fucking whopper he looks so weird uh, i don't know why but i guess that's what wrestlers do um michael uh-huh. uh i want to ask you yeah um how much do you like to be liked, shared, and subscribed? So much. So much. Do you like when people share or like or comment That's on YouTube videos? One of my favorite things. If you could like, yeah. comment, and yeah. share, yeah, that would be pretty... I mean, that would be awesome. If you could write a review on like iTunes oh, or Spotify, or Apple Podcasts, or you Spotify, you can something. on Spotify. Okay, yeah. yeah, do you it. You can give us five stars on any of we the would things. Love that. We, we would love, love that. you specifically. You. Uh, cause you know, we've heard it better for the numbers to personalize things. You, <laughs> horrific <that> person, yeah. <laughs> go under Sean's nail. He's pointing directly into the lens of the camera. If you're listening. <laughs> 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 and yeah, do that for Tweet. us, please. Tweet it, at us, you know, Instagram at us. This may see, these may seem like insignificant gestures, but they really do help. They truly are not insignificant yeah, at, at all. It's actually pretty yeah, awesome. It's very, very successful. You matter. Thanks. Um, on behalf of Michael <laughs> Hampton, um, I am asking you, the audience, to tell us what you want us to watch. Yes. And also on behalf of Michael Hampton, I'm Sean Parrott saying to you, bon appetit. 